Rest in peace, is some local. All I need is good choco. Can you add the beat to come up? First class in the mobile. One name, they go see God. Some bodo. I can't quack and a bum bum. Open like a now. Hello, I come. On a man, on a thief, follow my knees. You can't know. One can't know. Bika. You tell you what's a lip on. Bika. Waka book, what can come. Bika. If live on my malaise, you got book on a coupon. Bika. Kill a song. I can't a penny for till it down. Me, my rabbi. Hip him. Hick him. The wet till he feel a mongo. here today how does that make you feel well that is more challenging um, when you are awarded for something maybe for the job that's yeah, yeah it's a it's a very good motivation trying to encourage you to do more that's what i found that's what i know about award and it's not only me there's other people that have also have contributed in, in our local government that should be awarded too so that makes people, um, sometimes it makes people envious and it's a very encouraging envy, you know, so, and, uh, oh, why is Chisco being awarded today? What for? And uh, maybe there is a, lo a lot of reason why I'm, I'm being awarded today. And every other people who have not done so, who want to do it, by doing that, our local government and our community will keep growing and there will be a less um, insecurity in our communities. All right, so you've said so much about insecurities in, in the community. Now, what is your plan as a CEO of Chisco Group? How is Chisco Group planning to influence this community? How is Chisco Group planning to influence the youth to make Newi South a better local government? Well, there's not much uh, we can do as an individual than to cooperate with the government structure. The, um, the, the individual businessmen and, the, and uh, the government has to cooperate and uh, find a common way of fighting unemployment. Unemployment is, is eating too deep in our youth. And once that is fight, fighting, Almost 60% um, of insecurity will be reduced. Our youth has no more job. And the only way to create job is to create opportunity for work, to encourage businessmen to invest in the local government. Okay, so it's been 27 years that the New South local government was created. Now for you, what is the significance of this 27th anniversary? What's the significance of this event? It's an encouragement. Uh, we are very happy of uh, celebrating our 27 years of uh, Nehru South local government. And uh, in, at this creation, we have a lot of uh, development that follows it than what we were enjoying before from uh, when we were in uh, Nehru. 
um, local government. There we have a lot of improvements and it's based on that improvement that we have and this is why we are we are here to develop I mean to celebrate the our our local government. Right. Mm. Okay. Thank you so thank you so much. To have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you. All right bye. I'm here with Sir Lawrence Ejimofo. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, I'm fine. How are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you. I'm from Nairo Digama. You're looking healthy. Okay, so today we're celebrating the 27th anniversary of Nevi South Local Government Council. Yes, it's true. Okay, so can you give us a brief history, maybe a small story about how it all started, the Upo town itself, the Nevi South Local Government Council. In Wiki, it got to be a lot of Oba we a nice place, Chineke Gozira Gozi. I'm wearing many things. I'm wearing mother, mother, bu mother, mother, them pan and mother. Oba ne yena wan ne haka. Oba bunde je jemba. Anybody born oba ne wong on air born oba. Since any local government, he did che the name do I. Ma uza e na gama ongo lo gana po po. Ati se po po na bubu. Not this time around. Now I'm wearing zubuzo. Where everything, when they where they go, where you turn up, but poor me, eh, governor be a no, be kuziye, ne tera e ozo, agara agara. So I be happy, as in do bo. I na support her fully. You know, when I met her, I am so that's all. Okay, Dalo. On what way, where do you have anything you maybe like to tell the leaders of this um, local government council, the leaders of Anambra State, what you feel they can do to make the place better for you, the guys living? Ah, uh, yes. What they can do to make place better is this: like Oko, we don't have light frequently. Times we don't have light because of transformer. We don't have enough transformer. Like in my place, we have only but one transformer. At times it stops. So we need transformer, good road, and the free education. And other things. I used to one night on a I Thank you. Too. Oh, thank you, sir. Dalo. And I'm here with Lady Ezinne Biu Udechuko. Ezinne Kedukime, how are you? Fine. I don't know. Oh, take an hour. You're glowing. When you look at me, when did a young age? I saw I know why here was Salomon. Why? Eh? Mumwa ba onye create the union umuwai women wing. I created it, both central and the home. Recently, can hand it over. Mumwa ne represent ne without women leaders. Town women leaders. Now you they the coordinator of women uh, uh, women leaders. Ne without the ten towns that made up ne without local government. So, Mumwa, the Kabian of what? I know we have a town, why you need When you talk of women, I will be mentioned first because that union was created. Can the union can know himself that the union without my name? Mumwa. Okay, so as, as your time as a leader and the creator of the union, what were you able to achieve? Oh, I achieved a lot. When I was uh, representing this town in Anambra State as the woman leader, oh, you go down there, you see uh, agro industry, agro industry for women, palm producing uh, machi machine and oil, uh, gary producing machine. I struggle to get a place for them to man that machine given us by during the time of P2B by his wife. I struggled and created that uh, factory for women. Are you producing industry? Gary producing industry. I'm, I'm bring them and find a place through the help of our uh, honorable Rita Madawum. He that chair there, he helped us to mount it. And today, the agro industries existing. Well, that's, that's a lot because it's a lot to see somebody who actually 
puts in energy to see development in the women folk. Congrats I, I, to you. I, I, so it's naturally, uh, naturally. Um, the first, I like to be the first to walk and let others reach the product of my estate. Pioneering skills. Yes. You are a pioneer. Pioneer. Okay, so what, what advice do you have to give to the next generation of women leaders, to the next generation of women? I do. Okay, that's fitting from your efforts. Yeah, as you can see today, there is nothing that will be done in this upper town that women, I will not be there. If not, so I will not be here because I, handed, I have handed over to the other people. Even to the church, this town even gave me an honor for community service. And the last uh, 29th uh, December, during the Open Day celebration, they gave me town union uh, uh, honor for the service I have given the town. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Ezine, <laughs> you're really a wonderful mother. Thank you so much. Odalo, have a lovely rest of the day. Okay, so I have with me Comrade Ike for Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Okay, yeah. so how are you doing? I'm doing great, yeah. I see you drew a little bit of inspiration from the other side of the, of the geographical region, that's yeah. South South. Okay, you're looking good, by the way. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so Comrade Ike, um, I would have said how long did it take you to get ready, but I'm definitely sure it didn't take you up to five minutes, did it? To get what? To get ready. No, it didn't take me five minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. Oh, really? yeah. So you guys are indirectly saying it takes women a whole lot of time to get ready yeah women takes a lot of time to get ready but men's very easy to get ready you know <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so we're here today at the Okbo center yeah. celebrating the 27th anniversary of a navy south local government area now for you what is the significance of this 27 years what is the significance of this event well um from my own perception the significance of this event is um the political achievement of the people of the navy south um, apparently i'm a member of the navy south people you know and the, the political achievement it's overwhelming i know before now the navy south people were not politically conscious you know they were so so backwards when it comes to politics in a number of states in general but right now with the likes of the person of the speaker of the um, house state house of assembly she is really um taking much higher she's taking navy south a notch higher yeah in politics so i think that is significant if you ask me then um some of the developments like um roads you know the transformation of the town hall a couple of other things that i really can mention right here you know but I, I'm really impressed about the development and the speedy growth of the Navy South in all ramifications. Okay, so with the influence of the speaker herself and you as a 21st century Igbo man, now do you believe that? Do you believe that a woman can actually lead comfortably? Yeah, sure. There, um, I am of the ideology of um, whoever is capable to lead. I am not a stereotype when it comes to politics. Because we've had a couple of um, female leaders in the world. You know, for crying out loud, England as one of the greatest nations is being ruled by, by a woman, you know. And some other nations, like we had the first president, um, uh, Salif, I think Johnson Salif, the Liberian president. She did well in her time as a president, and now she's handed over to a, a male folk, though. Yeah, but it's really good, you know. She did well in her time. I really accord her some respect. some respect yeah uh, all right so what do you have to tell the leaders of the Nui south local government council do you have any suggestions advice things they could do to you know make the local government better yeah sure um the, i can foresee some laxity or some lacuna if you ask me in the areas of um, youth mobilization, education, you know, there should be uh, a ravishing enthusiasm to develop the youth academically. Because I, I, I noticed that some of the youths end up stopping their academics at a level of primary school or secondary school. You know, even at the secondary school level, there are um, uh, miniature or little infrastructure, infrastructures in the academic centers, the secondary schools, and the primary schools. You know, so I would want the leaders of the Navy South to actually mobilize or encourage the youth academically to go a bit higher. And I have 
Mr. Michif Peter Ojiaka, on you know be one of Newi South local government and his beautiful Lolo, Lady Charity Ojiaka. Thank you very much. Thank Good afternoon, you. sir. Back your way. Good afternoon, ma. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Okay, so you are an awardee of this honorable event today. Yes. Now, how does that make you feel? I feel highly honored. Okay. I'm privileged. I'm grateful to God for such a bestowment. Okay. All right, thank you. So it's been 27 years. Now, in this 27 years, how has this journey been for the Newi South Local Government Council? For you, what has what has the local government been able to achieve? Ad identity. I've been able to achieve an identity. It has been able to foster people together towards the growth of the our the same people, the same stock. Okay, thank you, sir. So. Now it's been 27 years of identification, 27 years of growth. Now the next 27 years, for it to get to the peak, for it to carve out a niche for itself, what advice do you have to give to the leaders of Newi South? One, coming together. Two, you know, synergy, and then identifying the biggest problem we have, which is one of them is erosion. And then um, uh, leadership, if we're able to get all this in together, we'll be fine. Yeah. What advice do you also have for the youth, the ones who look up to you, the ones who want to be entrepreneurs, businessmen? What advice do you have to give them? Hard work. Yes. It's only hard work. No hard work, no success. So I, I advise them to be hard working and have, um, be futuristic in their reasoning. So don't accept failure, because if you accept failure, you fail. You need to work hard. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, mommy, <laughs> you're looking beautiful. Thank you. Very From much. head to toe, you're Thank glowing. You. Thank you. So now we, we are in a time where women are being called upon to assume positions. Women are being called upon to become leaders. What's your say on that? How do you think that women of Newi South can actually join fellow women at the forefront? Well, it is important, um, very important that uh, women come together to support our husbands because teamwork is a key, key thing. So that um, we will help our men to move things forward in Newi South local government in terms of uh, developing the area, creating employment, empowering women and children specifically. Thank you so much. I love your smile. <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a lovely rest of the day. All right, bye. And I have with me here the former commissioner for information in Anambra State, Chief Maja Ume. Good evening, sir. You're welcome. Good You're looking good. good. I love your outfit. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay, so now this is um, the 27th anniversary of the Navy South Local Government Council. Now, for you, what has or what is the significance of the Navy journey for the past 27 years? Well, now uh, the way it is, like I said in my opening remark as the chairman of this occasion, uh, Navy South has come a long way and um, this past um, 27 years have been very, very, very successful. Uh, we moved from strength to strength and we have also produced so many important and distinguished personalities uh, in this country. We have also um, upgraded ourselves infrastructurally and um, in every facet of uh, development we've held our own this past 27 years. And then having laid such strong foundation, we are looking forward to a greater 27 years that is to come. Yes. All right, thank you, sir. So now you've talked about the success so far, and from what you said, it's really been a great journey. Now, what do you think can be done to make the next 27 years better? First and foremost, they, they have to give us a federal constituency. We need a constituency in the Federal House of Representatives because we are the only town, only local government with 20 words, 10 towns, that is not a federal constituency. Uh, it's not a fair treatment, it's not a fair one. So we are looking forward that in the next couple of years we'll be granted that further constituency. It would also help to accelerate our development further. Uh, yes, and uh, we we'll keep working our people. It has been a place and the people known for unity. So we'll keep uh, 
urging them to continue to relate more and more. The way we operate here, you know there are 10 different towns, but we do things harmoniously as a people. That's a beautiful one. Okay, now for uh, someone who's a veteran, as someone who has experienced life from different angles, what advice do you have for the youth of Nnewi South Local Government Council? Uh, not just the youth of Nnewi South. Um, for the youth generally, I spoke yesterday extensively about drug abuse. I keep pleading with the youth anywhere I see them to please stop the drug abuse. They should not stop taking to drugs. It's not healthy, it ruins your future. Today, they, 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 there's no kind of narcotic they don't take. And I don't think it's healthy for the future of this country and for their own future. Some of them, very beautiful careers ahead of them, but they've been ruined by drugs. You know, I don't think it's that. So I'm praying to Almighty God to, to send down His wisdom on them that they will desist from drug taking. Drug addiction is very bad. Thank you so much, sir. All right, so have a lovely rest of the day. Have a lovely evening and enjoy yourself at the event. Thank you so much for gracing the carpet. Okay, I'm here with one of the political aspirants for the Nnewi Federal Constituency. Chief. Good afternoon, sir. Can we get to know you? Uh, my name is uh, Chief the Honorable Humphrey Chukwu American Sofo, uh, former Majority Leader in Anambra State House of Assembly. I from Ekusigo local government, um, an aspirant on the Abga for federal new federal constituency. Okay. All right. So now this is the 27th anniversary for the Newi South Local Government Council. Now, what do you have to what 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 do you have to say about this event? What's the significance of this event for you? Well, uh, Newi South. Local government has come of age. Uh, all of us were together in old Newi local government. Uh, it was about uh, this time, some seven years back, that Newi old Newi was divided into Newi North and Newi South, and um, from there. Uh, later on, again, Newi North uh, was subdivided again into Ekusuko was carved out of it, resulting in that old local government uh, having Newi North, Newi South, and Ekusuko as, uh, as a federal uh, a, a, a federal uh, a const uh, constraint. And uh, since then, because of the cultural affinity between us and uh, both in Ekusuka and the North, uh, we've been together, sharing a lot in common. Uh, for them to be celebrating 27th year anniversary is something of joy. Um, a lot of history, special political history, can never be written without uh, the people of Newi South. Uh, starting with our father, a legend, our icon, uh, the, the sage, Akumafo uh, Mbazuka Mechi, who was uh, a minister in the Federal Republic. And uh, today he's still alive, celebrating with us. Uh, not to talk of when I joined politics about 1990, uh, 90, when I came down and joined uh, people, uh, uh, NROC. Uh, I used to draw my uh, inspiration from mainly from people who have played this politics here in New South. Notably among them, uh, Kumafo. Let uh, Edwin Umezoke, uh, let O.C. Sam, O.K.K., and all the rest of it. Our secretary then of old Navy, NRC, used to be one uh, uh, Samus, uh, is he alive? And uh, since then, this local government have been uh, striving one way or the other, bringing in Democrat. The dividend to their people. They cannot, you cannot 
be able to balance the Nigerian political equation without people from this state. As of today, the present speaker of Anambra State House Assembly is from Nerissa. So, we the politicians can never do without Nerissa. They are very vital in the political calculation of Anambra State. So, all of us are here to rejoice with them, to share them up, and to, uh, and to congratulate them. And to reassure them that though we are divided by uh, new development, new local government, we are still together. So together we shall carry our body because we have a lot together as a people. Right. Okay. As a political entity, as a culture, uh, we have a lot of cultural uh, similarity in common. Right. So a great thing is happening today and we are rejoicing. I'm congratulating the, the transition chairman for being able to organize all these activities that started uh, since last week. Uh, I mean, engineer uh, Odmegu, Felix Odmegu, a great man, an astute politician, politician of note, has been my political associate for a long time. And today, all of us are here to share him up for doing great in our new party the All Progress Grant Alliance, the party of the moment. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right, do have a lovely rest of the day. And I'm here with a political veteran. I'm actually here with the first executive chairman of the Newe South Local Government Council. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can we get to know you? What's your name? Uh, Richard Ndubisi Okechuku is my name. Okay. Yes. So you were the first executive chairman of this local government. Yes, the local government was created in uh, August 27, 1991. And uh, in December that year, I became the first elected chairman. And uh, the military, inter the military uh, takeover of 93 ended that tenure. Okay, and then I served again for about uh, 15 months from April 1997 to July 1998. Uh, Another termination by the military again. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Okay. Now, in those two times, um, judging from your looks right now, you must have been very young at yes. about that time. During my first time, uh, I was just a little over 36. Oh. Yes. So it was in 1991, yes. For you as a person, yes. if you were to strike a comparison between the youths of the then and the youths of the now, what would you say is missing? What would you say is the reason why we don't have youths in politics, in social political affairs? Well, I think there, there sometimes when I look around, I see some youth, but the, the, the thing is that the uh, youth... You know, there's a lot of social media now, but that is not in itself active participation at grassroots level. So there's a difference. There's a lot of social media, a lot of uh, the world is a global village. You know, after 20, 20 years or 25 years after I've been in office, the world is a much localized place now. They, you know, people get in touch much easier. There was nothing like uh, internet or social media then. So there's a lot of contact, but I I would like to see more younger, you know, younger people involved in politics, more active. So, so there's still a gap. Yes. Okay, so now this is the 27th anniversary. Yes, yes. Okay, for you, what is the significant? What is the most significant thing that has happened in the past 27 years of the Nwisa Local Government Council? Well, there's so many things. One cannot single anything, uh, anything out. But uh, for now, like for example, now we have the Speaker of the House. She's a lady. She's from she's from the headquarters of Obo. And, uh, but I think generally one thing that is remarkable about the local government is that it's, uh, it's a peaceful place. There is not much of this violence kind of thing, you know, everywhere, political thuggery and all that. It's very minimal and that's one thing I like about this local government. The people are responsible and mature and there's a lot of uh, political uh, emancipation. So there's, there's not much 
violent political activity here, and that, that's one good thing about this place. Okay. Yes. Mm. All right, now you were, or rather, you are one of the first leaders of this local government council. What advice do you have to the present day leaders? What advice, what, what word are you leaving for them? What thing do you think they can do to make it better? Well, one thing I know is that uh, uh, there are things I would like some of our entrepreneurs and uh, businessmen, industrialists to do. And that is to invest more in this locality. It will help to create jobs and uh, create, uh, you know, a kind of a more business-friendly environment. So I think that is one thing people should do. In uh, in Ibo, they say it's akuluno. Your wealth comes back. You know, home. You know, the, the what do you call it? Uh, think home philosophy. So I would like more of our industrialists to do a lot of investing in the locality here. That is one thing they will do. To invest more in yes, the home. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. So what advice do you have to leave for the youth? Because you've talked about social media having a lot of influence and them not being politically active. Yes, they are not in the serious way. I would like to see more youth involved. In, you know, look like, like for instance, you know, I don't like the fact that, like when I was growing into politics, I, did, I really didn't have any godfather or anything like that. I wrote my script and acted my drama. You know, there wasn't no really. But you see, a lot of you do this kind of cult kind of thing, hanging around people, looking for money. You know, that kind of thing is 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 distressful. You know, is 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 unpalatable. So I would like them to be more conscious of their power as youth. You know, mobilize themselves, and when you mobilize yourself, people respect you more than all this cult following and uh, running up and down and things like that. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Do uh, have a lovely day. Thank you. I wish you the same. Bye. So I'm here with the President General of UPO Improvement Union. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? Mr. Ima, right? Yes. Iman Wachuku. Iman Wachuku. Okay. Godson. <laughs> if I was to translate that in English. Okay, so Mr. Arima, we're here at the 27th anniversary of the Nnewi South Local Government Council. Now for you, the journey so far, I've asked a lot of guests this question. Now the journey so far, 27 years, what is the most significant thing for you? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we thank God. You know, God has given us great leadership, okay, for the union, for, sorry, for the local government. You know, even under transition council chairman, we've, the, the local government has been blessed with people that have capacity and have st stature and have vision to lead the local government uh, uh, in the right direction. You know, people that understand the development of the 10 communities in the local government. So to that, I will say that that's the most significant thing that happened. And cumulatively, cumulatively, you know, the, 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 the chairman and the current chairman, you know, has done a great job, you know, and uh, particularly the current chairman, okay, engineer uh, Felix Odemegu, almost his friends call him Kakaka, Anya or isn't if it is. You know, the right kind of leadership that is required at this time. Working hand in hand with our representatives of the two uh, uh, constituencies. That's constituency one, okay, that's on Iruba, and of course, constituency two, which is the speaker, okay. Uh, they work very well, you know, and in Igbo, Okanya Defu, Okanya Defu, which is very, very important. So that is very significant, and we thank God for that. All right, thank you. Okay, now, you have talked about how the leaders have been efficient. Now, do you have any advice for the youths of this um, local government council, for the youths and for the leaders, anything that can make this place better? Yes, yes. You know, a number of things. The first, okay, uh, for the leaders, okay, anything that will help generate employment. Because we have a lot of young men, you know, that just that finish school or that maybe before tertiary institutions or people that have graduated roaming around are about, okay, without a job. You know, that is a problem. That's number one. Number two, uh, 
you know, so a leader that can generate, you know, have a, a skill acquisition, you know, program will be very helpful. Now for the youth, I'd like to say that this chairman, okay, almost, is a good model for them to, you know, look up to. Okay, and I'm particularly impressed with how he has conducted himself and how he has organized the youth too. Uh, this program started about a month ago with football matches. Yes, and yesterday they played final. Okay, and luckily, I mean, for me, my town, you know, carried a cup. But beyond that, okay, it's a youth event and they galvanize the youth of the local government together. And that, that's something, you know, to be expected from a leader. And the youth always look forward to that. So if they have good jobs, uh, opportunities. I'm sure that they will, they would, they would do wonders. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Do have a lovely rest of the evening. Thank Enjoy you yourself. I'm here with Chief Mike Iraka Ugo Buzuonupo. Good evening, sir. Good evening. <laughs> How are you today? Very okay. Very okay. I can see that from the yes. sound of your voice. Okay, so it's 27 years. It's a journey for the people of the Nevis South Local Government Council. Yes. Now, what is the most significant thing for you about this event, about today? What is the most significant thing that has happened in the history of the South Local Government era? Thank you very much. 27 years is not 27 days. The local government has come a long way. If you have the history of this uh, local government before it was created, you know that today it has been a very, very remarkable event. That the town had transformed from what it used to be in those days to a modern community. All because of the type of government we have. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now, the transformation, it can only get better. So do you have any word of advice? Admit the challenges that the community has faced. Admit the challenges that the local government council has faced, sorry. Do you have any advice for the leaders to make it better? Of course. Every leader needs a good advice. Now, when you look at the whole system, you see, we are growing. We are not yet satisfied with the level we are. So, it must be advised to these people at the helm of affairs. That should be, they should plan how the start will be, you know, moving from generation to generation. You don't have to be static. Now, as society is moving, uh, society is going technologically, so there is need for our leaders to plan for the youth. There is need for the leaders to plan for developmental stages, stage by stage, in every community. And so my simple advice is that, let there be good map road for the community to develop more than what we have today. Okay, so you're preaching for better road network. Okay, that's a good one. All right, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your time. All right, do have a lovely evening. All right, yeah, bye. Okay, so I'm here with the SSA to the governor, Honorable Tabo Okeke. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. You have a lovely smile, by the way. <laughs> thank you. You do, you, you do as well. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so you're here to um, receive an award on behalf of your father. Yes, I am. Who is your father? Uh, my father is Chief Simon Okeke Ochendo Amich. Uh, yes, and um, he's here to receive, to pick up the award for um, personality of the of the year, something like that. Um, but he couldn't make it, so he sent me to here to here to represent him and pick up the award and also felicitate felicitate with the Lady South local government. All right, so for you as um, his son. You know, there's something about walking in the shoes of a great person, of someone who has left uh, a legacy for you. How does that make you feel? What does that do to you? Does it make you feel like you have a lot to do, or does it, are you just feeling it? Of course, as usual, um, when you're when you're faced with shoes so big, you know that you have so much work to do. But you see, the good thing about about um, my situation is I'm lucky to have. Uh, a father who is interested in the son either carrying on from wherever he stopped or uh, and get, making it um, making greater than wherever he has gotten to. Um, like uh, right now, like I said, I'm the or like you said, I'm the senior special assistant to the governor of entrepreneurship. I'm also contesting for House of Assembly, um, Newy South, Constituency One. Um, 
uh, I've been given a lot of support from my dad in many various things that I've done in the local government and in Anambra State, with the government of, of Anambra State, and even outside government, outside politics. I've always been supported by him. And that is why today it was um, a privilege for me to come here and receive the award on behalf of my dad. Okay, so now, Newisa Local Government Council, it's been 27 years, and there's still another 27 years ahead of you people. Now, what is the advice? What do you think can actually be done to make it better? Okay. First of all, we, 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 we first of all can congratulate in Nevis South. Um, 27 years and 27 years of not staying on one spot. If you go around in Nevis South today, you can see huge development strides. Huge development strides. And um, most of them obviously have been carried out by this present administration. Number one. Two, most of them, a lot more of them, can have been attained by virtue of the um, policies, development policies of the party, APGA. Um, prior to the coming of APGA in Anambra State and in Nnewi South, you couldn't, you couldn't see all this. But today, we have a lot to celebrate. Um, but of course, we don't rest on our oars. We're still building, we're still working. And thank God, for now, we have one of the most hard-working local government chairman in the whole of the Federation, not just Anambra State. A, a, a local government chairman that is working assiduously to see to the development of not only his local government, but other local governments around, and um, ultimately to the progress and um, success of the administration. administration. Okay, thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for coming to this event. Thank you so much for gracing our red carpet. Do have a lovely rest of the day. All right. Guys. Okay, so I'm here with Barrister Eguo Yubo Okoye. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Oh, okay. I love your shirt. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so um, this event is actually the 27th anniversary of Nnewi South Local Government Council. That's correct. Now, for you, it's been 27 years as a local government council. What is the most significant thing for you about this event? Uh, the most significant thing about this event is the showcase of oneness, one love of the people of Nehusa. If you see what has happened today and what is going to stay happening, you see the love of Nehusa, Luzamin. They are in oneness, bonded by 10 communities, and uh, it is very, 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 very important that the 10 communities see themselves as brothers and sisters. And that is what is happening today. We are quite pleased. I am in particularly delighted that things, this event, this 27 year anniversary of Newisa local government is taking place today. As you know, we are in democratic setting. We play politics in this local government as brothers and sisters. We do not play politics with guns, with acid, with money. We play politics with love. That is, that is what has bonded us together in this local government. And I believe we will continue to do so. Since the creation of Newisa, we've never lost a soul. We've never lost a soul in politicking, in electing our officers, in electing local government executives, state assembly members, national uh, assembly members. We've never lost a soul. And that is very important that we continue in that light. We are best losers. We are good winners. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Do have a lovely rest of the evening. And I'm here with Mr. Ezobia Onyekachi, the local government inspector at Newi South National Youth Service Corps. Good evening, sir. Yeah, you're right. Thanks How very much. You? I'm good. I'm fine. Thank okay. God. All right, so you are an inspector. Yes, local national government NYSC, inspector. Right? Yes. Now, for you in this local government, how has the journey been so far? Uh, really, these are uh, like uh, two years I've been here as the inspector. 
of uh, NYSC in Newi South. I've gone around the entire villages in Newi South. And in fact, they are so good when it comes to assisting NYSC. A place like uh, Akwihedi, for example, because they have some places you might regard to as being interior. But when you get there, there's always something that makes them tick. They have this uh, philanthropic mind, that is how to assist core members. If you go to that Akwihedi, for example, the President General of Akwihedi, four S-Core members, not from Igbo, some of them are from the West. I think one is from Benue. Four core members. He is training them in uh, their master degree program. As soon as they finish serving there, he called the four of them and said, I want you to further. Do you have interest in furthering your education? They say yes. Say so go and pick the form, get back to me. As I'm speaking to you now, the man is sponsoring them in their masters. Then when it comes to core members' participation in the local government as well. Wherever you find them, this is a place where you find every core member being on ground to do his or her service uh, uh, program. When you get there, like uh, when you get to a place like Osumeni, Ekulumili, Unubi, these are places that are a kind of interior. When you get there, you see all the core members serving because the community is friendly. They welcome the core members. They're, you cannot get any negative reports about core members serving in Newi South. All over Newi South, they are at home. Anytime, any moment, core members are posted on this place. As I'm talking to you, I have not less than 500 core members serving in Newi South. 500 of them, 500 core members. Both uh, stream 2017 Bash B, stream 1 and 2, and the 2018 Bash A, stream 1. They are stream 2. Is entering camp now. So the ones on ground, I have not less than 500, and they are all feeling at home. So the journey so far here has been rosy, let me put it that way, it has been good. The local government chairman, he is also supporting every activity of NYSC. Each time, I can even meet him at any point in time and he will give me a listening ear. Wow, that's, that's the type of people you meet in Inewi South. Wow. Okay, that's a beautiful one. Thank you so much for your time. All right, do have a lovely rest of the evening. You too. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Okay, now it's the 27th anniversary celebration for the Inewi South Local Government Council. For you, how has the past 27 years been? It is wonderful, you know, because one is that we have been living in peace, unity, harmony, we are enjoying democracy, we are enjoying development in our local government. There is no community, we don't have any communal clashes or acrimony within the communities. You can see what the government is doing I mean, in the way South local government. Roads have been constructed, schools have been constructed, people have been employed. So we are very happy for what God has done for us these 27 years. We are praying the Almighty God to lead us for the next 27 years that come 2022, we will have the governor of Anambra State from this in the South local government. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, sir. Do have a lovely day. Thank you. So I'm here with the CEO of Petrus Group, Chief Peter Ogwebie. Good evening, sir. Evening. How are you? Fine. Okay, now you are being awarded for the most distinguished personality of the year. Now, it's an honorary award, and how does that make you feel? I'm very happy to receive it. Oh, you're very happy to receive yes. it? Yes. Okay, sir. So, for the past 27 years, Newi South Local Government um, Council has existed. How is the progress so far for you? Oh, you can see that um, our eyes is our witness. So, they're doing well. Yeah, they're doing well. All right, thank you. So do you have any advice for the leaders of this community, of this local government council, on anything they can do to make it better? And anyway, I would advise them to do more. We are expecting more for them. So I advise them to do more in the progress of this uh, our local government. Thank you. All right, thank you, sir. Do have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you. All right, bye. You've heard it from the mouths of the members of the Newi South Local Government Council of how beautiful, receptive, and progressive this community is. We wish them better years ahead. We wish them more 27 years <laughs> and a great future. I'm Mother Collins, and that's the much we can take on the red carpet today. See you next time. Until then, bye. <laughs>